place by Les Peard of Castleton. And Mr. Peard was to have been at Penagraig, but that cup tie has been postponed. But it's Dunman to kick off Hugh Davis, their fullback. A little bit of nervousness immediately from the knee side, and that'll give great encouragement to the home crowd who are here in their thousands. Five at the front is Malcolm Jones, eight at the back is Purdue for Dunvant. Purdue takes. And the whistle goes for a put in for Neath. Bridges with a feed just outside the Neath 22. Control from Phillips. He's well held. Dunman quite awake to that move from the back row. Dunman going over the top. And so a penalty to Neath. Furious opening exchanges. And he's skipper for Thorburn. You'll notice the strapping on his upper thighs. There's the strapping. He knows that he has to play in these vital games over the Christmas period in order to stand any chance of getting into the international squad. The new boy in the Neath camp, David Pickering, former Wales captain and former captain of Tenasi. Short line out again. Barry Clegg wins, Bridges, Paul Williams. This is Pickering. His first touch of the ball onto Kevin Phillips. Away goes Bridges on the short side of Pickering to Paul Williams. Superb passing to Power. Powell attacking the Dunvant line, and Alan Edmonds goes over. That's the opening try. Here's the try again, and the Dunvant crowd might well complain that there's no justice done. The first real possession beneath, excellent passing, flip passing, and then Steve Powell drawing the cover on the outside. Edmonds intelligently had gone inside, and there was nobody there to mark him. Alan Edmonds, the try scorer. The place kicker, of course, is Paul Thorburn. Nasty little angle. Bags go up, Neath go into the lead, six points to nil. And Paul Thorburn, after the early skirmishes, will be well Alan pleased with that. Edmund, conversion by Paul Thorburn. Neath ball, a good attacking position. And Bridges having a quick look to see the positioning of Paul Williams. Has a passion for drop goals as Williams, as Graham Davis goes into midfield as well. Williams. Davis, they miss out Amanda Powell on the far side, Edwards, could this be the second try? No, the Dunvin tacklers are there, but here come Neath again, Powell to Thorburn, Thorburn to Davis, this is Kevin Phillips, and this is Graham Davis going for the corner, has it got the speed? That's a superb tackle by Gallagher, the scrum half for Dunvin, but the ball is still alive, or is it? Randy, not forward, excellent defence by Dunvin, and full marks to Neath, challenging so well. down on the scrum, so the penalty goes Neath's way. And that may well be indicative of the way this game is going to go. The Dunvin scrum is certainly under pressure, and they may have to concede some points. Six points to nil the score at the moment to Neath, and another opportunity for Paul Thorburn to add three points. This game a bit of a test for Paul Thorburn, very much a test of the groin injury. He seems to be okay, slotted that one over very carefully. Neath in the lead, nine points to nil. Ten metres outside the Neath 22 metre line. Dunman really has struggled to get up this far. But away goes Bridges, he's threatened that so often. David Pickering, it's a bit of a wild one inside. They allowed to go on, nobody offside, the ball is played by Neath. That's Kevin Phillips, and he loves to do that, to ruck the ball away. Somehow, Dunman to have it. The kick is by the centre, Andrew Beer. Danger point. Oh, Dunman really doing well. Richard Sullivan following up the pass indeed after the kick by Andrew Beer. And 
Dunvant will get masses of encouragement. They're that close to the Neath try line. Five minutes to go. What a time to score if they are to reply. Morris with the throw. Neath Hammett Bridges in the tightest of corners. Gets the kick away to Sullivan. It's not there. Go, go, go. Find a gap through there. Richard Sullivan trying to worm his way towards the Neath try line. It's a tremendous drive. <laughs> his throw trying to find Purdue who moved up into the line out this is Williams was that pass forward Powell still going the secondary setup and they're queuing up on the short side well Dunman coming through they may well argue that the ball had been made available but the penalty goes Neath's way Thorburn's kick has he got there? Yes, indeed. Just inside the right-hand post. So Neath go into the lead, 12 points to nil. And that, indeed, is the half-time whistle from referee Les Peard. Neath 12 points to nil in the lead, and Neath will have the slope and the wind in this second half. But can Dunvan come back? We'll soon find out as we rejoin the match now. It'll weigh into the second half. Seven at the tail for Neath is David Pickering, but that's rare possession for Dunvan. Eaton. And alongside the three quarters, Bolton trying to forage his way through the middle. And away goes Henry Jones on that far side over the 10 metre line. This is better play by Eaton, getting hold of possession. Dunman starting the second half pretty much as they did in the first half with some spirit. He throw. Phillips, that's the second piece of possession, but it's difficult ball for Gallagher. And he won't say Merry Christmas to his forwards for giving him that kind of possession. That's the 10 metre line inside the neath half. Bridges, long pass out to Williams. Williams held by the Dunban cover. The back row, the Dunban back row, really doing well, shepherding Williams back inside. There's our young supporter, who in the second half has taken to the drink. Now we have a better view of that battle between Waygood and Jeremy Pugh. Seven for Dunvant there, packing down is Richard Henry Jones. He's appeared for Kneffy and Swansea in the front row. This is Eaton, neatly done. Plus one tackle at least, <laughs> then unceremoniously dumped. There's plenty of life as Dunvant get over in numbers, withstanding the pressure from the neat forward drive. background the temporary stand everything around this ground uh, this afternoon is a little bit temporary the lorries the scaffolding a great credit to the local committee for putting in so much work to stage this game Gallagher a quick look to, uh, to find Eaton and they miss out a man Andrew Beer's kick finds Graham Davis got Thorburn outside chooses to ignore the captain but it's a good kick it's a testing kick Eaton is back there for Dunvant just about cut hold of it in time Keith Eaton the outside half that time covering well Phillips to throw again Still nervous times for Dunvant. Clegg. Bridges. Powell picks up. Thinks about a drop goal. And then the switch of attack to Williams. Thorburn. 
Corbin still going. Put in touch. There's the captain's role. You saw Thorben there. He's quickly checking with Ken Phillips to see that he was okay. Quickly thrown in, but neat habit. Bridges, Williams, Davis. <laughs> Got hold of it the second time of asking. Well, that was a rather nasty tackle, but on that far side, it could be a try. <laughs> try scored on the far side by Graham Davis. But what was uh, really alarming was the late tackle in midfield. It was a Dunman throw-in, but Neath had it, Clegg, and we'll wait for this tackle in midfield. For Williams, there's the delivery to Adrian Davis. Now he gets hold of the ball, and there's the tackle, shoulder from Nigel Bolton. But Graham Davis did well, didn't lose his concentration, and over he goes. The Dunman in their centenary ear have already beaten Swansea, lost rather heavily to Tonetti. This is a, a different kind of game. This is cup ties. Bridges, Paul Williams, Roland Phillips, the extra man laying off, looking for support, and it's beautifully taken by the man who's supposed to be injured, Adrian Davis, put away from Dunman. Purdue trying to get hold of that ball. But again, it's Heath Ball. Pugh setting it up. Kevin Phillips, rather than tidily, out to Powell on the far side to Paul Corbin. Up towards the 22-metre line, Graham Davis. And that tackle on that far side was a try-saving tackle indeed. The replacement on the field for Graham Davis is Jonathan Griffiths, normally a full-back, but coming in on the wing. Neath have it. Bridges, Paul Williams, Powell. That's a typical Neath move on the short side. Thorburn attacking, and there's the replacement. Griffiths still going. A try. The first touch of the ball for Griffiths, and he goes over in the corner. So typically set up by Neath, the second phase possession running it on at the short side and then that superb passing and the tackle is now beginning to become a little weak by Dunvant and the try scored by Neath. Thorburn with a conversion. Struck that one high as well. Looks encouraging. The flags go up. Neath increase their lead to 22 points to nil. The supply by Neath. They don't really have to limit their line out. Certainly they've lost it, but through goes Hugh Richards. Man from Pontney form thundering through over the 22-metre line. Dunman get the fly hack, where's the Neath captain? And neatly done. Under Davis, and there's acres of space. Under Davis, Pickering, Pickering. Surely he should have passed that time, or has he got there? No. The penalty has been awarded to Dunman. Pickering tackled and playing the ball after the tackle. A neat juggling act by Paul Thorburn, setting up the initial possession, then onward to Davis. Pickering alongside, calling for the ball. As this particular time, he may well have looked to his right to see the support that he had. No, indeed, conceded the penalty. It's all me. Clegg on the charge. Bridges, short side to Paul Williams. Will they get to this time? No, indeed. Alan Edmonds. But Dunman are there in numbers. Oh, they're doing so well, Dunman. They may well be 22 points nil down. But the tackles are still going in. But I fear in the last quarter, those tackles may become a little bit weaker. David Morris, the man with problems, the Dunman skipper and hooker. Banking and barging at the tail of the line out. So what will Neath be up to? Times like this, just keep your eye on the ball. 
explanation being given uh, to the Dunvin skipper, Morris, as to what the infringement was, which is at the tail of the line-out. Bridges is the pivot man onto Roland Phillips. Hasn't got there with the first surge, has. Yes, indeed. Wormed his way through. Well, at least Roland Phillips took the ball into the melee. Let's see who the try scorer is. It is the man, Roland Phillips, the policeman from St David's in Pembrokeshire. Well, in fairness to Dunvant, they must be tired men now. Roland Phillips, a straightforward surge, and then a with a little help from his colleagues, just about making it over the line. Torben's conversion to come on the 22-meter line. Well, he's striking them well. That's another two points for Neath and their captain, Paul Thorburn. Try Two and a half minutes of injury time gone. Bridges feeds just outside the Dunvant, 22 metre line. Phillips kicks up. Bridges back inside of Edmonds. No man's land. Eaton is back there. Pew onto Pew. And it's Jeremy Pew going towards the Dunvant try line. The ball's not going to come out of there, says Les Peart. And uh, the forward, forward momentum belonged to Neath. certainly looking for his second score. Phillips is going to go on his own again. He finds support. David Joseph. They back Bridges. Are they going to get there eventually? <laughs> Total frustration. Well, full credit for Dunmont. Right in the corner there. Neath having all the possession, but they've kept them out. And that, indeed, is the final whistle from referee Les Peard. Neath safely through well done, by the convincing I'm margin really of 28 points to nil. Four tries scored, 12 points coming from the boot of Paul Thorburn. But full credit to Dunvant. They stuck at their task, and had they scored in the first five minutes, well, they might have put in an even better performance.